Electa, with the active ingredient spinosad, provides a completely different approach to insect control compared to traditional synthetic pesticides. Spinosad is derived from the naturally occurring soil-dwelling bacterium Saccharopolyspora spinosa. The discovery of the insecticidal properties of the natural fermentation products of this bacterium began in 1982 with a lily scientist's vacation in the Caribbean. Tormented by sandflies, he moved further along the beach to a spot noticeably less infested, near an old rum factory. Intrigued, he took some soil samples. The rest, as they say, is history. Pesticides in general unfold their effect by disrupting the insect's nerve signal conduction. Physiologically, an impulse arriving at the synapse triggers the release of neurotransmitters. Their binding to the corresponding receptors results in the signal being transmitted further. Neurotransmitters can have either an excitatory effect, as in the case of acetylcholine, or an inhibitory effect, as in the case of GABA. Through influencing nerve conduction, for instance by binding to the receptors for acetylcholine or GABA, Widely used broad-spectrum pesticides either cause a permanent state of overexcitation of the nervous system or block signal conduction completely. Spinosad has a different, unique and highly selective mode of action. It also binds to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, but at a binding site that is completely different from those used by all pesticides known so far. The result? Permanent neuronal overexcitation. Additionally, spinosad impairs the inhibitory function of the GABA receptor, amplifying the overexcitation. Spinosad has shown no cross-resistance with existing chemistries. This is most probably due to its unique binding sites. Also, it is believed that no quick loss of sensitivity of pests will occur in the future because spinosad targets two receptors as opposed to only one. Elector by Elanco, a new tool in the battle against poultry pests.